Example 1 in STAT 101 examples class 3 covers Z-scores. Z-score you remember from the formula that we will have on the STAT 101 formula sheet. The Z-score, Z equals X subtract X bar divided by S. In the formula, X bar is our sample mean. and S is our sample standard deviation. So our Z-score will give us a measure of the number of standard deviations our observation is away from the mean. So a positive Z-score will be to the right of the mean a negative z-score will be to the left of the mean. And we'll have an example of each. In the first example, if a barrel of apples have a mean of 150 grams per apple and a standard deviation of 5 grams, what is the weight of an apple with a z-score of plus 1? Our formula, z is x minus x bar divided by s. From the question, we see that our z-score is 1, positive 1. Our x-value is what we're trying to determine in the question. Our mean, our sample mean, 150. And our sample standard deviation of 5. So the equation will need to be solved for x to find the weight of this particular apple with a z-score of 1. To solve the equation, first of all, multiply both sides by 5. Which will give us the next line. 5 equal to x minus 150 because the 5's on that right hand side will cancel and then we need to add 150 to both sides to leave x on its own and solve for our value of x. So x will be equal to 155 grams the weight of this apple with a z-score of positive 1 will be 155 grams. Our second apple example. If a barrel of apples have a mean of 150 grams per apple and a standard deviation of 5 grams, what is the weight of an apple with a z-score of negative 2.5? Negative 2.5 this time. So a quick sketch we can see that the negative 2.5 lies to the left of that central position. Using the formula from the formula sheet again, z equals x, take away x bar, divided by s, our sample standard deviation. Our z score this time is negative 2.5, remembering to leave the negative sign there, equals x that we're interested in, taking away the mean x bar, which is 150, and dividing by our sample standard deviation, once again, is 5. So to solve the equation, multiply both sides by 5. So the 5's on the right-hand side will cancel. And rewriting our negative 12.5 on the left hand side equal to x minus 150 on the right hand side. To solve for x we will need to add 150 to both sides to leave x on its own. So x will be 150 subtract the 12.5 giving a value of 137.5 grams. 
So the weight of this apple with a z-score of negative 2.5 is 137.5 grams. This is smaller than the mean, which is what we would expect from this type of question where we've got a negative z-score. And that is the end of example one.